Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another hair extension review. So, if you are interested in seeing the hair extensions I'm wearing right now, which are different than the other ones I usually wear, then keep watching. So, you may or may not know, but not too long ago, I think just a few weeks ago, I did a video giving a review to the brand Maxful and their hair extensions. And today, I'm going to be working with Maxful again. This is not a sponsored video, but they did send me these extensions in exchange for an honest review. And that is what I'm going to do. This time, it's a little bit of a different color. It's very, very similar, but it is different. And I am really excited to try them out. So in their package, they have this little thank you card and they gave a little gift with it, which is this hair clip, which is super nice. I might end up using it, we will see. But what you're waiting for, the hair extensions. So this is them right here. They are so soft. I really like their hair extensions. I mean, I've had their other ones for a little while now and I wear them a lot and I really like them and so far I have no complaints and I can tell that this is the same. I mean just a different color but it's just as soft, just as thick. It goes pretty thick. I mean it stays pretty thick pretty far down. Now I don't think you're gonna get any hair extensions that are equal thickness at the top as the bottom but this is pretty dang close and it's more of I mean it's close to how natural hair goes I mean no one's natural hair unless you get a very fresh major haircut and it's short no one's hair is gonna have the same volume at the very ends as the top it's just that's where the breakage happens even if you have healthy hair you're gonna have a little bit of breakage so really it's a very natural feeling so the color I got is Balayage Brown to Caramel Blonde mixed with Platinum Blonde. And I got it in 22 inches, which is the same length as my last ones. But this Brown to Caramel Blonde, the brown part is closer to my hair color than the last extensions I have. And the ombre part of it doesn't go down quite as far. Like it's more like this, whereas my other ones are longer. And the darker color of my other ones are a little more red than my hair is. But they still blend fine. But these are probably going to blend better. So all of Maxville's hair extensions are made with real Remy human hair. If you don't know what Remy hair is, I'll pop a little description of it right here. It's basically real human hair. <laughs> it's full cuticle. It's soft. No shedding or tangling. And I would say that this is high quality hair at an affordable price. I bought these off of Amazon and honestly any of the ones I've tried in the past this is pretty much the same price range and when you compare it to any other big company the price is insanely significantly lower which is great for someone like me who's working on a budget they're super affordable and again so far of the other brands that I have tried these are my favorite I, when I wear them in my hair they do not at all feel like it doesn't feel different, you know, not really different. It doesn't shine in a weird way. Super soft. And I just love the part about the thickness for how long it goes because back when I was brunette and I tried a few different clip-ins, they did get thinner and I was worried about the need to cut them and lose some inches because that, that sucks when you pay for a certain length and then you have to cut a good amount off the bottom so that it doesn't look like a rat's tail, you know what I'm saying? So... That's not a problem with these ones at all. You get seven pieces in this set and it for the 22 inches it is 110 grams weight. Which is pretty good for someone like me with thin hair. I don't need like 200, 300 grams kind of thing, you know. Sorry if that cutoff was weird. My, my battery died. I don't remember what I was saying. So let's just move on. If you are interested in this company and these extensions, I will leave all of their info down below where you can follow them on social media and where you can get the actual clip-ins and all that stuff. Again, that'll be down in the description. So let's put these in real quick and then I think after I put them in, I'm gonna add some curl because right now my hair is not done in any sort of way. 
it's air dried and these are straight so this we'll fix it in a minute if you want to know how I put in my extensions in more detail I will link the video of me explaining and showing you all of my tips and tricks to get them to hide and thin hair I will pop that up right here and I will leave it down in the description you definitely need to watch it I share some pretty cool tips for people with thin hair so I usually do a lot more with the putting them in part but since this is just oops, since this is just to show you what these are like in my hair I'm not gonna do all of my steps because I'm not gonna keep them in my hair super duper long right now so I haven't worn these yet, so you are seeing pretty much first impression. I just already had them out of the box, but look how long it is. Ooh. I love this length. It's it's super long. Oh, they're so soft. I love how soft it is. I promise I'm not just saying that. <laughs> I'm not getting paid for this. So this clip set comes with one four piece, one four clip weft, two three clip wefts, why is this a tongue tie? I don't know. Two two clip wefts and one one clip weft. I think that would be my, that would be my only complaint is that I wish there were more one pieces, you know? Like maybe, I don't know. That's a little janky. I'll have to fix this in the mirror in a minute. I, I'm getting better at putting them on without a mirror, but I'm still not great. I mean, look at that. No, that didn't even stick to hair. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in this spot or not. It's pretty far forward, so I'm probably not going to keep it there, but for now. Okay, so what I want to do is go add some curl to it because, you know, it's, this isn't good. <laughs> So it'll look a little shorter once it's curled, but I'm gonna go do that real quick and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, BRB. Look at it! It's all curled. That took me forever. I'm not used to having to work with that much hair. Stupid pillow. So, some of the curls might be a little wonky because I um, was rushing. Oh, and also, you notice anything else different about me? I burn myself and it hurts! I haven't burnt myself in a long time. Anyways, here is it curled. I think this color is absolutely perfect. I mean, like color-wise, I can't tell what, what's my hair and what's not my hair. They helped color match me, which is a good thing, so they can help color match you too if you reach out to them. I'll show you the back. The curls are a little wonky, so please don't judge me. Oh, oh. Ah! oh my wreck. Okay, so as far as my review of this set of Maxwell extensions, I would give it a big thumbs up, 10 out of 10. I think it is great. It feels amazing. It curls you can do anything you want to it because it's just like normal hair I mean anything you want that you would do to your own hair so still be careful but not it's not synthetic so kind of thing you know what I'm saying I'm gonna stop now so I I'm not gonna drop any names of what company this is but I want to show you some other hair extensions I've gotten in the past that claim to be real human hair and I just want to show you how good this looks in comparison to this so this doesn't look shiny at all. I mean, like, it it looks like my 
hair texture, which is obviously real hair. Look how shiny this is. I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up well, but it is so shiny and looks kind of silicone-like. And I've read and heard, and look, I washed it a few times and it got so frizzy and like broken. It feels pretty bad down here. I've read somewhere that some companies, even though it's real human hair, Remy human hair, they'll still coat it in silicone and that can kind of cause this look of shininess. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really shiny and it didn't last very long. That just goes to show that this is a really good company. That was probably a very, very similar price as this and it it didn't hold up and when I did have that stuff in my hair I could see like certain strands would kind of reflect light as if it was a complete like it was a complete synthetic hair so like I don't know if they mixed real hair with synthetic hair I don't know I'm not gonna say they did but that's just a thought that kind of crossed my mind with that other brand this nah no shininess whatsoever I mean I don't think I can speak enough about how much I like this hair. I really hope that one day they'll come out with ponytails because I really want to get a clip-in ponytail just to make it easier to put my hair up and not have to try to maneuver the clips. And I would also like to have more individual clips, even if that means sacrificing So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this review. I really hope it helped you out if you're looking for extensions at an affordable price. Definitely recommend Maxful. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps show me what kind of stuff you like to see. And let me know in the comments what you think and if you want me to do any further explaining of hair extensions that I haven't already done please be sure to ask. So thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.